earlier, uh, we mentioned the latest running Deshaun Watson. 30, team, or 30 of the uh, accusers, potential accusers, uh, the, were settled with by the Houston Texans. And as of late, we've seen when it comes to the Sue Robinson uh, saga, we're, on, we're waiting for a ruling from Sue Robinson. Those briefs were reported or were due earlier this week. So we're waiting a decision from Sue Robinson. But over the last couple of weeks, we've seen a tide kind of turn towards uh, Deshaun Watson in his favor over the last few weeks. And so so in order to talk about that, uh, we bring in Brad Ward of BrownsWire.com and USA Today Sports Media Group. Brad, one, thank you for joining me. And two, Brad, ha have your thoughts changed uh, regarding the uh, thoughts on a potential Watson suspension and a possible length of his suspension uh, going on throughout this saga over the last few weeks? Yeah, I think they have. Uh, I think that if you've been paying attention that uh, the pendulum has kind of swung back towards Watson a little bit. I think it, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's a little bit more realistic that we see him on the field this year. Um, at one point, it really felt like that year uh, was going to be a reality. Now, I think one thing that we all need to be careful of, Mac, and I think you would probably agree with this, is that we need to be careful of where these leaks are coming from, right? Like, I'm sure a lot of some of this momentum uh, is coming from Watson's camp, smartly, right? Like, at this point, they kind of are uh, have the momentum in the court of public opinion. So some of these leaks may be coming from them, but a lot of them from valid sources that seem to feel like the NFL didn't put on such a good case in front of Sue Robinson, who, and, and, you know, Justina Anderson has highlighted this uh, a lot that the, you know, the standard of proof uh, may not have been met um, there. So at least there is some reason for optimism. I think um, I actually thought they were going to settle, to be honest, Mac. I, I thought both sides would probably try to cut their losses because I think the outcomes are there's a wide range of outcomes from Sue Robinson. Nobody really knows. She's kind of a wild card at this point. Right like what she could come down with. And I thought that both sides would feel that way and be like, hey, let's come in between somewhere like eight games and, and, and both of us save our chances of looking uh, silly here with egg on her face uh, when this is all done. That's not the case. She's going to come down with the ruling at least yet. So far, it's not the case. I don't think it will be at this point. I think they're going to wait for the ruling now. Um, and uh, I think it's very reasonable that – um, he gets like six to eight games at this point. At least that's what it sounds like, right? Um, being careful, somewhat, you know, cautious of where we're getting our information, right?